plus interest, plus payments and stuff. It adds up over time. Hello folks, welcome to Eckers of Cars. 2018 Golf R, 2007 Honda Pilot, and a 1982 Volkswagen Vanagon Westphalia. Those are just my personal cars, and then my wife has a Tiguan around the corner. I just, I'm starting to wonder, I don't really want two daily drivers. Um, I do like having both of them for what they can do differently, but I'm considering going to look at some vehicles where I could combine both of these together. Something where I can have some off-road performance and some extra space, and something that also has the performance equivalent of a Golf R. That's going to be a hard thing to find, especially in the kind of price points I'm looking at. I'm not a rich man, although I'm working on it. <laughs> um, I want to see what I can get that, uh, that might do something like that. So let's go to some car lots and see what we can find. All right, I'm at the dealer that I wanted to come see. They have three vehicles here. I might get them to appraise my Golf R just because I'm curious. But the first thing I want to look at is probably the thing that I can't really... Well, I could afford it if I sell everything else. Boom. Porsche Macan GTS. It's dirty, but we'll check it out. It's pretty good. So the, the GTS is the same as the has the same motor as the turbo, the 2.9 twin turbo V6. Uh, it's detuned. It has around 380 horsepower, which I, is what I figure about my Golf R has with the tune I have on it. But this is without a tune, and then you add a tune, and you're going to get up to maybe 450, which is more than a Macan turbo. But uh, this might not be the one. No, that's not the one. This is a different one. That's an employee's one. There is another one here that has red guts. All right, here's the Macan GTS. <clears throat> Keep it open. So the other one was a customer's. All right, cool. Lots of red. Red door cards. <clears throat> red gauge cluster. I mean, these are fully spec'd out to whoever you want them, but. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about all this red. It is a lot of red, especially the red door cards. I'm not sure I like the red door cards or the half red dash, but uh, anyway, we'll get in here and check it out. This should be an almost fully specked out Macan. Yeah, let's see how comfortable it is. It looks small on the inside. I don't know, Golf R wise, it might actually have less usable space than my Golf does. But it's got the panoramic roof and it would have more power and it's a Porsche. Does it have power lift gate? I don't really know. Probably does because I don't see a, a thing. Yeah. It's fast. Fast power lift gate. Okay. Space, donut. The thing I really like is it's got the tow package already on it, so it's got a Yeah, it's got a five-way with the Series 2 hitch. Looks like all the control arms are aluminum. Okay. All right, sitting in the Porsche. Um, I don't know if it may be because it's an early model, but I'm surprised by the thickness of the border on this rearview mirror. It's shaped well because... I find with mirrors, you know, you, they can hide, uh, know, when you're approaching an intersection, they can hide a car behind them. So it's like that it's sculpted, but it's got a big fat border on it and some buttons and sensors and stuff. And you've got the kit kind of control module on the ceiling here for doing the glass and interior lighting. That's pretty nice. Looks like someone's been going a little bit uh, too aggressive with the armor, although everything's shiny in here. Things should not be shiny. Everything's shiny and slippery for leather, so it's just, it's going to have to be treated. Try and get it mattified. Man, those headrests are thick. Why are the headrests so thick? Hmm. Oh, because they pivot in it. Whoa, because they pivot in and out. That's pretty crazy. I've never seen that before. All right, that's a bit, now it looks a bit more appropriate. Wow, guys. 
new to Porsche. All right, it's extremely, <laughs> extremely dampened glove box. I can't tell if this is a smoker's vehicle or not. It smells, oh, it's a CD player. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like anyone's ever lit a cigarette with that, so that's a good sign, but that's kind of a smell in here. Where's all your cubbies? Where are you supposed to put your phone and stuff? There's very little usable space on the inside. It's the sea of buttons, and then this is, there's no storage here. And there's no storage here. So where are you supposed to put your things? <clears throat> hmm. And these are all pretty big. It's, yeah, it's kind of cramped in here. Anyway, I think I like the, uh, it's cool that it's got the scroll wheel. Here's all the, uh, here's all the controls. So temperature, left and dual zone climate control, uh, air conditioning stuff, hill descent control, off-road mode for jacking it up, it's on air suspension, so you can jack up the suspension, active, uh, active exhaust, active dampers, sport, sport mode, uh, heated and cooled seats, which is nice. Yeah. But it's got uh, 84,000 kilometers on it. Anyway, okay. yeah, well, and they want 57,000 Canadian for it. Thinking about what to do, mostly because I don't want to have to pay for maintenance and insurance on three vehicles at once. That's a lot for for what I make. Uh, it's you know it drains a significant amount of funds every month just with insurance on three vehicles all on the road at the same time. But man, I love this thing. Every time I go and look at something else and then I get back in my arm, like, yeah, this thing's great. But the only thing that you miss out on is kind of ground clearance. But when you don't have the ground clearance, you make up for it in uh, performance. I forgot to mention what they offered for my Golf R. Uh, I'll let you guess. Three, two, one. 34,000 Canadian is what they offered me wholesale value. Now, when you're doing a trade-in in Ontario, Canada, it's your trading value plus 13% off the trade. So I'd have to do the math on that. The equivalent of selling it privately for $38,420. Now, this car is now two and a half years old with 32,000 K on it. I only bought it for 42,000 plus interest, plus payments and stuff. It adds up over time. But yeah, used car sales are holding the value like crazy.